So we're working on the 1975 Evinrude we had on uh, YouTube. Um, didn't like the finish on the uh, motor, so decided to take it apart and have a look at it. You never know what you get with these old motors. Uh, so this is the power head out of the uh, out of the motor. Um, over here we've got the uh, the bottom of the motor sitting being sanded. Uh, there's the leg the motor. It's uh, sanded and primered uh, with the zinc oxide primer. And there's the, um, I guess you call that the steering piece of the motor with the throttle. It's uh, sitting there waiting to be sanded and painted, which we'll get to today. And there's the lower unit sitting in the vise. I've had the water pump off to inspect it. It looks like it's in good shape, so we'll keep it in there. Uh, just a word, uh, these power heads are relatively easy to take off. You got your three motor mounts on each, uh, you got two on this one side and you got the other motor mount is on the back of the motor. Uh, this is your exhaust uh, tube and this is your water pickup. Um, now when I pulled this motor out, this gasket was missing. Um, so we went to the Evinrude dealer this morning and you can still get the gasket. Uh, the rare part of this is the uh, grommet that sits down inside here. Um, yeah, there was silicone on the motor, uh, so something told me something was wrong. So I pulled it apart, uh, found this guy. This is your rubber grommet that sits down inside. Um, it's kind of missing some of the rubber on the one side, so I uh, lucked out at the dealership. They they sell this part still, so I picked it up for about three dollars. Gasket was four. Um, took it apart, put it back together. Now the one thing you got to make sure is your your water tube goes back in the same way it came out. Um, they can angle at different angles so this tube could be on the other side in which case when you go to reassemble your motor it doesn't match up with this right here this is your pump the tube slides in there uh, as the power head rotates pumps water into the tube um, you want to make sure that you do it right the first time um, this is my second video of this motor as I had the tube in the wrong way and I've spun it around since and now everything matches up and uh, we'll take some more video once the motor's done, but uh, uh, we'll have that done today, sanded and painted and ready to go.